Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will draw a ladder diagram for logic gate circuits. So let's look at the example first. Example 22. There is AND gate with the input A and B. And then there is OR gate with the output of A, B and C. And then there is NOT gate with the input E. And then there is AND gate with the output of a b plus c and d and e naught so in this case we will use normally open contacts for the inputs a b c and d and we will use normally closed contact for the input e so firstly we will connect the inputs a and b in series firstly we will insert the input A and B in series, thus implementing AND gate. And then we will connect C in parallel with AB, thus implementing OR gate. And then we will connect D in series with the output of AB plus C, and then we will connect E as normally closed contact in series with the output of AB plus C into D. So let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221 C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configurations. I will click on yes. So the logic controller I am using has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. Then I can also go to serial line where I can select protocol. I will select it as TMH2GDB and then I will click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for the logic gate circuit. I can also click on this option for a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So, I will insert two normally open contacts and I will connect them in series. I will assign address to this contact as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as A. Yes. And then I will assign address to this contact as I 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as B. Yes. Then I will insert a coil here. I will assign address to this coil as Q 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as Y. Yes. So here we have connected the input A and B in series. So in this way we have implemented AND gate. Then there is OR gate with the output of A, B and C. So we will insert C as normally open contact in parallel with A, B. I will insert one more normally open contact and then I will connect it like this. So I have connected this in parallel with A, B. I will assign address to this contact as I 0.2. I will also add symbol to it as C. Yes. As we have connected in parallel, thus we have implemented OR gate. Then 
Now we need to connect D as normally open contact in series. And then we will use E as normally closed contact and we will also connect it in series. I will insert one normally open contact and one normally closed contact. And I have connected these contacts in series. Thus, I have implemented AND gate. I will assign address to this contact as I 0.3. I will also add symbol to it as D. Yes. Then, I will assign address to this contact as I 0.4. I will also add symbol to it as E. Yes. So firstly, we have connected A and B in series. So we have implemented AND gate. And then we have inserted C in parallel with AB. So here we have implemented OR gate. And then we have connected the input D in series. So here we have implemented AND gate with the output of AB plus C and D. And then we have implemented another AND gate with E0. So, for output Y to be on, either A, B and D should be on and E should be off. Or C and D should be on and E should be off. So, for output Y to be on, E should be off. And then, and also D should be on. And then, either A and B should be on or only C should be on. So, when all the inputs that is A, B, C and D are on, then also Y will be on. And then when E will be on, the output Y will be off. So no matter what is the state of these inputs, if E is on or E is true, the output Y will be off. I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. Then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. Then I will go to programming tab and then I will click on full screen mode. So here, when I turn on A, B and D, the output Y will be on. And then instead of A and B, I will turn on C and D. And then output Y will be on. And then when I turn on A, B, C and D, the output Y will be on. And then when I turn on E, the output Y will be false. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.